Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Uh, to God be all glory, honor, and praise on this second Sunday, January the 10th of the year 2021. This has been an unusual week, despite all the things that have gone on. It's still been a good week. Amen. Uh, for one, God has allowed us to see it. And on the other hand, he has been a keeper in it all. Amen. Can, can we just bless his name? Because truly, he is, hey, glory, he is worthy. Thank God. Amen. To God be the glory. Before we go on, amen, I'd like to give a congratulatory uh, shout out to Brother Demarcus Watson and Sister Kedra Watson on being new homeowners. Amen. 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 So amen. we thank God for them. We thank God for what he's doing in their lives and may uh, the, their future endeavors be just as blessed. Amen. amen. Uh, also, amen, I spoke to uh, Brother Chris Keyes this morning. Uh, for those who know Deacon Keyes, I own Deacon Kenneth Keyes. Please keep him in prayer. Uh, uh, from my understanding, he's fighting for his life. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and we want to make sure we keep the family uh, lifted in prayer. Amen. That the will of God will be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, to God be the glory. On yesterday, amen, me and First Lady, we, we had a ride. Amen. We took a little journey. Amen. <laughs> And most of you that are familiar with us, you, you understand that on our journeys, amen, that it allows us a time to talk, amen. Not that we don't talk when we're in our homes, but it's something about riding in the car that puts you in a confined um, place, amen, without interruptions and distractions. And you're, you're able to, 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 to concentrate on the conversations, amen. And, and nevertheless, amen, on yesterday after 21 years of of being married, amen. I found out some amazing things about my, my spouse, amen. Glory be to God. And, and that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad at all. It, it was a reminder, amen, that no matter how long we've been with somebody, amen, there's still things to learn, amen. So, so I want us to see that when it comes to God in the perspective of God. No matter how long you've been saved, no matter how short you've been saved, amen, there's always something new you can learn about God, amen, that you can learn about the master, that you can learn concerning our Savior, amen. So so with that being said, amen, in today's message, amen, uh, from the book of Psalms, the 11th division, amen, you will find these words. In the Lord put I my trust, how, ye, how say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the screen, that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. Mm -hmm. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hated. Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. Let us pray. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you now, God, for this appointed time of fellowship and communion. God, not only with one another, God, but most of all with you. I pray now, God, as I stand before your people, God, if I stand afraid, teach me to be courageous. If I stand with pride, teach me humility, God. But above all things, let me not go beyond the boundaries of thine word, but speak as the Spirit give utterance. And I'll be so careful, God, to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for it all. For it's in the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ Jesus. We do seal this prayer by the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let the church say amen, amen, and amen. Man, amen. Well, uh, when it comes to learning, amen, saints, uh, we will learn from this particular division of Psalms uh, that we're going to have to make a stand, amen. So today, allow me to just talk from that topic, make a stand. Tell your neighbor, make a stand, make amen. A stand. Matter of fact, tell yourself, mm -hmm. make a stand, make amen. A stand. See, um, the book of Psalms itself is the 19th book of the Bible, amen. It has 150 uh, chapters, amen, 2,461 verses, for over 43 
thousand words, uh, two, over 2,000 verses of history, 160 verses of fulfilled, and, and 274 verses of unfulfilled prophecy. It also has in the book of Psalm 164 questions, 413 commands, 338 acts of God, 124 vows. As you can see, uh, the book of Psalm has so many statistical uh, um, information in it, amen, that we could go on and on. Its theme is simply uh, uh, Christ, God, the word of God, creation, sufferings, and the redemption of God's people, amen. That's what the book of Psalm entails. Well, when we consider our theme true, uh, uh, the theme of poxy for the year, true all the way true, amen, the, 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 the category today, this topic fits in that category, make a stand, amen. Uh, so let's just expound upon it a little bit. In today's text of the 11th division of Psalm, uh, we find the familiar patriarch David, uh, who is now a fugitive on, uh, 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 from King Saul. Amen. And, and some simply say David in this particular text finds himself in a pickle. Amen. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's go on. Uh, 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 the title in this particular division of Psalm, To the Chief Musician, a Psalm of David, that title uh, tells us both the author and the audience of the psalm. Some say that the chief musician is perhaps uh, or the Lord God himself, but others seem to think that it's the leader of the choir or, 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 or the musician in David's time. Well, I don't know which it was. I just know that it was in it was titled to the chief musician, a psalm of David, amen. Well, uh, in this particular psalm, amen, the record is, uh, is intended to tell us uh, concerning faith and advice, amen, uh, the fear, well, really, let me put it this way. It gives us an inside look as to the answer of faith and to the advice of fear, amen. In verse number one in the 11th division of Psalm, we find that it says, in the Lord put I my trust. Uh, hold that point, we're going to come back to that particular uh, um, verse. But in the latter part of the verse, it says, How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? Now, th 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 this is David's um, friends giving him some advice. See, he's on a fugitive from, from Saul. So, so they tell David, man, look here, bro, you, you, you need to run. You need to get out of Dodge, amen. It's, it's like they were telling David, man, he, he got a gun pointed to your head, man. Run, just, just, just take breath and get out of here. Amen. And, and this is what they are saying. In verse number two, they go head on and they say, for lo. In other words, look, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow mm -hmm. upon the stream that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. This, this is what they are saying to, to David in the 11th division of Son. They said, look, man, uh, uh, they 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 gonna take you out in secret, man. They 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 they, they got something going on, and they really want you, amen. So, uh, uh, it just lets us know as saints we have to be careful, amen. See, we we're afraid of the thing that we don't know. Uh, so so they were using manipulation here to try to get to David, amen. Uh, in verse number three, th these same friends go on and they say. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? In other words, they were telling David, look, King Saul's kingdom is already on its way out. The, the foundation has been broken. So, so who are you to step in? Well, I mean, what, what, what can you do? So, uh, and oftentimes we got to watch the folks we hang around. Amen. Because they'll start asking you, what, 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 what can you do? Amen. Because a lot of times, even the friends that we have don't understand the destiny that God has for us. Amen. So, so, so be careful <laughs> where you get your, your, your information from. Be careful who you talk to. Amen. But, but here in the fourth verse, amen, it goes on and David begins to answer. Uh, those same friends. David said, look, uh, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in the heavens. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. He said, the Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, 
his soul hated. Amen. Upon the wicked he shall rain snails and fire and brimstone and, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Amen. David simply came back. He said, look at here. He's, he said, I know y'all might not understand who I am. Y'all might not understand what I've been anointed for. Amen. You don't even understand my destiny. Amen. But the one who holds my destiny, let me remind you of what he sets. Amen. He sets in the heavens. The, the earth is his. He, he can do what he will. He can do what he won't because he's the almighty God. He sits on the throne that's in heaven and he's looking about. I'm not concerned about the, the evil ones. I'm not concerned about the wicked ones. Why? Because my God still sees. <laughs> uh, uh, David said he can hold everything that they do. Amen. He, he's watchful and he knows. Amen. Uh, he's a mind of fact. David goes on in, in the fifth verse. Uh, he said, the Lord tried the righteous. He said, but the wicked and him that loved violence, he said, his soul hated. He's, he said, so don't y'all be concerned about them. Amen. Because God's Got them. He's watching you. Matter of fact, God is concerned about me. And because God is concerned about me, he hated everything uh, 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 that wants to do me harm. Amen. Mm. Uh, David goes on and simply says that God uh, uh, hates the wicked and, and them that love it, violence. Amen. In verse number five. So, so David was beginning what? To make a stand. Amen. He was beginning to let his friends know where he stood. Amen. I wish some Somebody say, make a stand. Make a stand. Mm. Amen. David goes on even in this text and says in the sixth verse, he said, upon the wicked shall rain uh, snares and, and fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest. He said, this shall be the portion of their cup. In other words, David was simply saying to them, uh, they're not going to be able to escape uh, what God has for them. Amen. Uh, so why should I worry about them? Why should I really be concerned? My God got it all in hand. Somebody said, make a stand. Make a stand. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, when it uh, comes down to it, amen, David is simply reminding us uh, 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 God is still fighting work on our behalf, oh, amen. amen. He, he's still in the heavens. He's still in charge. He's still uh, 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 the one who, who, who decides what goes on and what happens, amen. See, sometimes when the enemy is pressing us, uh, we just need to understand that it's God's will for us to get what God wants us to have. And sometimes we have to go through the fire. Sometimes we have to go through the enemy. Sometimes we have to go through the situation. Sometimes we have to go through the circumstances. But no matter what, just know God is still in heaven and he reigns. Jesus. This is what David was saying to his friends. Amen. David goes on and he says in verse number seven, he said, for the righteous, Lord, love it, righteousness, amen. His countenance does behold the upright. Now David done gave them his spiel. David done let them know, hey, look at here, I, I'm not going to be concerned, amen. All this fear y'all trying oh, to Jesus. put on me, all oh, this God. fear y'all trying to put in my mind, all this fear y'all trying to put in my heart. But David said, let me remind you, this is where we go back to, to verse uh, uh, number one, amen. David said, let me remind you that in the Lord put I my trust. Amen. He said, I'm not going to let this fear take hold on me. I'm not going to let what you say discourage me. I'm not going to let what you say to me turn me away from my God. David said, in the Lord put I my trust. Oh, Amen. And I begin to wonder, why could David say this? Amen. And so I want to give you a few things, a few reasons why David could say, in the Lord put I my trust. Amen. And you see, in Psalm, the second division of Psalm, the 12th verse. Amen. Uh, I'm not going to read it, but I want you to understand what David was saying. David was saying, there's many blessings uh, from my God. Amen. In Psalm, the fifth of division, verse 11, David simply saying that what? Uh, God is my defense. 
He's my protection. Amen. Uh, uh, this is why I put my trust in God, because he's the almighty God. Uh, oh, God, he, he, he blesses me uh, tremendously. He, he's my defense and my protection. Uh, I'm not going to worry about what King Saul going to do. Don't you know God's got me? Somebody ought to tell uh, uh, somebody, tell your circumstances right now. I'm making a stance. Amen. Oh and I'm making a stance because the God that's been blessing me all these years, he's still blessing me. Yes, he's yes, still yes. my defense. He's still my protection. Amen. Oh, in Psalms, the 19th division of Psalm, the 10th verse, uh, uh, David was reminded, amen, that the presence of God what, abides with me. Why? Because I'm the righteousness of God. Not because of my own righteousness, but because of the righteousness I have in Christ Jesus. He said, because of that righteousness, God's presence is ever about me. Amen. Uh, in Psalms, the 17th division, uh, and also in Psalms, the 37th division, uh, verse number 7 in uh, the 17th division, and verse number 40 in the 37th division, David says that uh, 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 God uh, is a deliverer from my enemies. Mm. Amen. Uh, see, these are some of the blessings of, of trusting God. David said, because I trust God. Amen. Because I rely on God. Because he's my stability. Uh, David said, uh, uh, I'm delivered from my enemies. Oh, Amen. Uh, see, in Psalms, the 18th division of Psalm, verse number 30, and then in the 91st division of Psalm, verse number 4, David makes reference to the fact that God is a buckler and a shield. Amen. <laughs> see, a shield will keep things off you, from you, amen. A buckler is a protector, amen. So here David is saying, because my trust is in God, I can rely on the things that I'm telling you about. David said in Psalm, the 31st division, verse number 19, he, he talks about the goodness of God when you trust in him. You can have the goodness of God when you trust in him. Amen. In Psalms, the 34th division, around verse number 22, it talks about because I put my trust in God, I'll be fruitful in God. Oh, we got any fruitful folk in God. See, God. The only way you're going to have these things, said David, is that you got to make a stand in God. Oh, my God. <laughs> because David said, in the Lord put out my trust, amen, uh, in Psalms, the 37th division, uh, in verse number three, and in verse number five, uh, David makes two references. Uh, he says that in God, there's a safe dwelling place, oh, amen, God. and he also says that God answers prayer. Oh, somebody help me up in here. Uh, David said, in the Lord, I put my trust, amen, and because I trust God, uh, it's a safe place to be here. It's a safe dwelling place. And not only is a safe dwelling place, God not only hear my prayers, but he answer. So I ain't concerned about this fear you trying to throw on me. I'm operating in faith okay. because I trust the Lord. Ah, uh, David goes on. Amen. He said in the Lord, put I my trust. Amen. And, and and since I have my trust in God, David makes reference to Isaiah, the 26th chapter, verse 3, when God said he'll give you a perfect peace. Amen. <laughs> See, when you trust in God, you can have a peace that uh, uh, that's there no matter what. A peace in the midst of a storm. Peace in the midst of madness. Peace in the midst uh, 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 whatever's going on. Uh, why? Because God will give you a perfect peace. Somebody said, when you're trusting, oh, when you God. make a stand. Jesus. And then also in that same book of Isaiah, that same chapter, verse 26, amen. Uh, in verse number four, David said, when you trust in God, Amen. He'll give you an everlasting strength. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, see, he'll pick you up when you're down. Amen. When you think you can't go through, he'll, he'll push you on through. Right? He'll give you an everlasting strength well, from the inside by the gift of his Holy Ghost. Amen. I had somebody say, I'm going to make a stand. I'm going to make a stand. Jesus. Because I trust, I trust in the Lord. Because I trust 
in the Lord. <laughs> This fear won't take hold of me. Amen. Because I fear in the Lord. I'm going to put this fear in its place. According to Ephesians, the sixth chapter, Paul the apostle in the 13th verse, as he talked to the Ephesian folk, he told them, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor oh, of God, God. Oh. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, he said, to stand. <laughs> Paul told the Ephesian folk that he said, "Know what Paul said? Make a stand." He said, "But if you're gonna make a stand, Amen. If you're gonna trust in God, if you're gonna make this stand." Paul went on further in that same sixth chapter of Ephesians, uh, uh, in verses fourteen and eighteen. He said, "Now, if you're gonna make this stand, Amen. There's certain things you need to put on in order to make the stand, Amen." In verse thirteen, he said, "Put on the whole armor." In other words, Paul said this. He said uh, he was encouraging the saints to stand in the thirteenth verse, but in the fourteenth verse, he was saying. Simply, if you're going to stand, be dressed for the occasion. Now, if you're going to go Jesus. to war, be dressed for the occasion. Now, if you got to fight, be dressed for the occasion. <laughs> In the 14th verse, he said, when you're dressed, uh, uh, he said, when you got the whole arm on, he said, in, in the latter part of 13, he said to stand. In verse 14, he said, stand therefore. Uh, somebody say, make a stand. Make a stand. Oh, glory. He said, stand therefore, having your lawns girt about with truth, with truth. and having on the breath plate of what? Righteousness. Amen. Yes. Glory. Hammer. That's the same righteousness in the 11th division of the book of Psalm in verse number 7 when he said, for the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. <laughs> Amen. Why? Because his righteousness is found in his armor. Amen. The same armor that he's told you what to put on and stay. In verse 15 of the 6th chapter of Ephesians. He goes on and said, uh, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Amen. Because why? I got my, 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 my trust in God. I got my faith in, in God. He's above all, taking the shield of faith, where we, ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Amen. See, sometimes, amen, you, you, you got to have your shield of faith to put fear in its place. Amen. You got to have your shield of faith to put even some of your friends in place. Hey, uh, but nevertheless, in the 17th verse of the sixth chapter of Ephesians, he says, and take the helmet of salvation. Know that you've been born again. Know that you've been saved. Know that you've been reconciled by Jesus. Know that you've been redeemed by the master. And he said, the sword of the spirit, amen, which is the word of God. That's why we got to read the word of God to get it into our spirit, the spirit that God's put in you. Amen. Why? Because it gives you something to fight with. Amen. And, and it'll give you a reason. Amen. Understanding of knowledge of why you fight. Amen. And it'll give you the wisdom to know how to fight. Amen. Uh, in that same book, amen, of the sixth chapter of Ephesians, uh, Paul finished it off with the uh, Ephesians by simply saying this. He's a praying always. <laughs> with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Why? Because I'm trust in the Lord. And, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Uh, simply Paul was saying to the Ephesians, amen. He said, uh, uh, make a, a stand, amen. He said, if you really trust God like you say you do, make a stand, amen. Uh, put on the armor, amen. Be the righteousness of of God, uh, so that when your enemies come, amen, you know whom you trust, you know who your confidence is in, amen, even with your friends, amen, that don't understand your destination, don't understand your destiny in God, you'll be able to tell them, uh, I understand what you're saying, but for me and my house, amen, we're going to serve God, amen, I put my trust uh, in the living God, I put my trust in a God that won't fail. I put my trust Jesus. in a God that's watching my enemies every move. Amen. And because he is a God of wisdom, a God of knowledge, and a God of understanding, he's got me covered. Thank you, Jesus. 
And because I trust him, I make a stand. You ought to tell somebody, I make a stand in righteousness. Ah, Jesus. I make a stand in holiness. I make a stand in being the just of God. I make a stand in being a child of the most high God. I make a stand in living right. I make a stand because God is my God. Somebody say, put your trust in God and make or stay. <laughs> it's simple, saints. Amen. Even in this day and time, God is asking or, or, or requiring, amen, requiring the church, the children of God, the born again, saved, sanctified, people of God. God is saying, make a stand. Make a stand. Don't let fear overtake you. Don't, make, don't let fear cause you to doubt your God. You trust God? Make a stand. Oh, God. Stand in faith. <laughs> stand in faith because you trust in the most high God. Simply tell your neighbor, make a stand. Make a stand. Make a stand. Make a stand for your God. Amen. To God be the glory. Let us pray. Lord, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you now, God, for your word that you've allowed us to share today, God. I pray this saints all over the world, all over the nation, God, in every city, in every town, God, that they will make a stand today in Christ Jesus, knowing, God, that our trust is in a reliable God, our trust is in the almighty God. Our trust is in you and you alone, God. We can have confidence, God, that you are the deliverer, God. And we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for it all. In the precious and mighty and wonderful name of Christ, we thank you now. Let the church say amen. 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 And amen. amen. Tell somebody, make a stand. Make a stand. Amen. Matter of fact, tell yourself, make a stand. <laughs> amen. Today. Make a stand, amen. A stand for the one whom you put your trust in, the almighty God. Amen, saints. Well, amen, that's it. The Holy Ghost say that's it, amen. You stop when the Holy Ghost say stop, amen. That way you don't give people what you want to say. You give them exactly <laughs> what God said, amen. So to God be the glory. We thank God for his word today. We thank God for being who he is, the one we can trust. And because we trust God, we make a stand. Amen? amen? Amen. Well, saints, amen. The born again believers, keep on believing and trusting God. For those who do not know God, amen. Uh, uh, the, God is saying, come. Come on. There's room. Come on in. Come on to the house of safety. Come on to a God who, who loves you. Amen. A God that you can trust. Amen. And, and after you come on in, amen, know without a shadow of a doubt that you are saved. From that point on, get into a church, get into the word, amen, so God can edify you and build you up so you can be like all the rest of the saints of God, making a stand, amen. Well, to God be the glory. We thank God for this time, amen. We thank God for this time of fellowship and communion, not only with him, but with you, the saints of God. And until then, as always, amen, we leave you today saying, be blessed, be thankful, and be in God.